how to make pine trees. Uh, it's very simple, just using, I use 18 gauge wire. You can use a little bit thinner if you wanted, a 20 gauge. And a paintbrush from the dollar store. And some wooden dowels for the trunks. The smaller ones are just packets from the dollar store. They come in those sizes. The other one, the bit bigger, is just from Canadian Tire. They have a whole bin full of dowels, various sizes and shapes. You drilled the hole yourself? Yeah, you just drill a hole in it. So with this, you just take the, the wire roughly in size that you're looking for. It can be bigger, shorter. You just pinch it in between the vice grip. Yeah, white weld bond I use. You can use like the uh, Canadian Tire generic brand. It's just that one with the gold and black label. I just had this. Don't use regular white glue from you know, like kids glue because it doesn't stick. The bristles. There's a couple of different ways you can do it, but for this, I'll just cut them. I cut them a bit longer, obviously, in the bottom, and then just work the way up. Brush from the dollar store. Probably should have made this one a little bit shorter. You can always trim them after, right? Yeah. No, I meant the length. Just for the demo, you know, so we're not sitting here watching me put bristles on here for 20 minutes. But you sort of get the drift of it. Then brush bristles. I guess you could. This is what I do it and it works out good and stick with it, right? And it's cheap. It's all from the dollar store. And fast. It's really fast. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
So then basically, yeah, that's it. Plus the five minutes to, to modify the down. Yeah. So basically from this, I just go to take in the dowel, whatever size, you know, trim that down, stick it in. So it's like these ones here. I use some wood sawdust. Just the same thing with the glue, wipe it on it, throw the sawdust on it. I leave these hooks in the ends, because I'll take, I'll do five or six of them. I'll take that with a wire coat hanger and vice grip, hold it one end, cut the coat hanger and just feed it through. I just use a brown paint from Canadian Tire in a rattle can and just spray it. And then it's brown like that, let that dry. With these ones here, I've done different coatings on it. There's this darker, lighter one here is the Woodland Scenics, the fine turf weeds. That other one is just the same deal with the static grass. In order to get that on, once it's a brown like that, I just use the aerosol cans of spray glue, like Elmer's or 3M. Just spray it down, it's tacky, and literally just sprinkle it all over it. This one here and that one, I use, I make my own grass. I use this stuff again from the dollar store, this bag of moss. Take a handful of that, I use one of those little, um, I picked it up at um, Goodwill. It's just those little Nutra bullet blenders. It has the four little blades on it, the container. Just take a handful of that, throw it in, fill it up with water, pulse it, grind it right down so it's just like a mush. Drain it out in over a strainer, sieve it all out, squeeze it in hand, throw it in the container and just let it dry. Do that over maybe a week. And then I'll take the same strainer again in the plastic container. I just drop the, the hardened bits in and just rub it with my hand and filter it right through. So then when it's filtered out and strained, that's what it looks like. It's just like almost dust. And that's what I do with that. It's already got very <laughs> various textures in it and different colorations. And same with that moss. Sometimes it's more brown and you know gray colors. How much is a bag like this? I think that's three bucks. Three bucks? Yeah. So that makes all this plus I did a diorama and used that. So it's a pretty straightforward thing. I've tried it to make them a little bit wider by taking, as you're cutting it, putting on there, taking one section and putting on one side and then the other one on the other side. That was the result there. You can get four inch brush. The cheapest I've seen though is $9. So to really go out and do that, it's not worth it. But for the sizes and the range, you know, you can make these a lot smaller. You can make them taller and thinner. And I, with this one here, I just didn't cut any of the bristles to size. I just left them a bit more fuller. And then at the end, just cut the, the little loop off. What do you use for this one? That was static grass. Static grass. Yeah. yeah, same deal, just aerosol spray yeah. and throw it's a it different static. texture. Yeah, just the static grass on it. But that's all it is, just basically the paintbrush bristles, some 18 gauge wire I use. That's about what I found about the best as far as it's sturdy, you know, but you can still bend it if you wanted to, you know, bend the tree over and it turns fine. And well done, Scott. That's it. You know, it's pretty simple.